Hello Masoka Universe! Ready for another jersey review of the Women's World Cup? I bet you are if you're watching this. I hope you have been enjoying the first three parts already. Uh, there's a link to the playlist that is at the end of this video. Uh, I have thoroughly enjoying uh, this so far and I realized now that every group has at least one Nike team. So Nike is the pre prevalent brand here. I again wear an Umbro jersey for a team that is now equipped by Nike, but uh, there's no Umbro here. Still, I wanted to wear this red England jersey uh, a few nights ago when I was talking about England versus Argentina. Um, I was thinking about wearing again Argentina, but then I said I just wore Argentina for my um, Copa America review, a uh, preview. So let's go the English route because England is actually a good team. Uh, as compared to um, our Argentina in here. Again, um, I will run through the teams as they are seeded within the group, so not by pots but by seeding. So the first match of which was England versus Argentina, uh, England versus Scotland, those two are the first two teams, and then we have Argentina, Japan, the second two teams uh, right in there. And let's get right to it and we'll start with England. Um, Equipped by Nike, as I said, and the England home jersey is a really darn nice one again. I really like the current men's home jersey. Uh, I like it so much that I even uh, bought it uh, the day after they got eliminated uh, at the World Cup because it was then on 50% off uh, at the local store. But I had looked at this for quite, quite a while. This women's jersey is, is really close to that one. Um, as you expect, it is white and it has a little bit more red in there, um, especially the red swoosh. And then the sleeve curves have this dark red and bright red going in. Uh, and then they have even this weird triangle uh, on the hips going in there. Um, and of course, the, as we can see already in the front, but it's also present on the back, the taping is in the same pattern as are the sleeve cuffs. I think it really looks nice overall. The only complaint that I have is that maybe a little bit more blue would have done the jersey well because the only blue that we have is the crest and I'm sorry it looks a little bit lost in this jersey. But overall this is a really really fine looking jersey I gotta say. Uh, I like for instance the color a lot better than I do in the men's jersey although the men's jersey does a good job at it but I really can't. My uh, color is maybe not as nice. Um, where, shall I, where shall I go for this one? Um, I think it's a decent enough jersey that I think it deserves an 8 star. I think if there was a little bit more St. George's Cross on there or, um, you know, a little bit more cohesive. I, I like the water sea, but it could be a little bit more cohesive in terms of the England look and, you know, um, the crest looks a little bit lost in it, so that's why I'm not going a uh, higher grade. But I think eight star is a really deserved and already pretty high grade, I would assume. The away jersey, however, that's the real stunner here. Um, a perfect women's jersey. It reminds me, when you first look at it, I mean, you see all this rose flower pattern over there, but then do you see that it's kind of quartered? Um, which reminds me of kind of a medieval shield in a way. It's probably just because I watched a history video now uh, of uh, on the Hundred Years' War. Um, I prefer this red for England, but I think for the women, this darker red really looks sharp. It's a really sharp looking uh, jersey. Also, I you know me, I don't like monochromatic reds, but here it makes so much sense um, to have it just monochromatic because I think the full color would totally distract from it. This is an awesome looking jersey. Um, it's right up there with the best Nike jerseys and if you look at it, this floral pattern, um, it's, you know, it's like a tapestry on, on, on there. That's another one that I would like my wife to get. Or maybe, I'm not sure if I could, if I, I probably could wear a men's version of this one, uh, should. If they, if England wins, wins the World Cup, I'm gonna get this jersey. Uh, actually, I probably should say, if any of the women's teams where we can get a men's jersey uh, win the World Cup, I probably should get their jersey. Um, I would love 
uh, this one because it's it is special. It's definitely special. Um, and you know, the nice inscription inside of the collar, the taping. You know, it, it goes a little bit the France route of not putting too much on it, but on the other hand, um, why it doesn't need to. In this case, it doesn't need to because the pattern is so dominant. Uh, worn, of course, with white numbers. Great jersey. I'm gonna give this a straight up 10 stars. Uh, for a women's jersey, it cannot be more perfect. Next up are the Eternal Rivals, the Scots, who got custom jerseys from Adidas, which means, as with all the Adidas teams, except maybe one exception in this group as well. Um, and note this group now, all the other teams are all Adidas. That, yeah, there are two exceptions actually. So this means if you have got custom made jerseys for this World Cup, you get a home jersey that is custom made and you get an away jersey that uses the same template. And that's exactly what we have for Scotland. Let's look at the home jersey first. Um, typically Scotland. I like it. It's simple. It's Scotland. Navy blue, white accents. I like the nice crew neck collar. Um, white sleeve cuffs. Maybe those we don't necessarily would have needed, but it's nothing bad. I really like it. It probably should be worn with uh, red socks though, but that's the only complaint I have. Other than that, a really nice... The men should have something. I mean, the men have something, similar, but they have it more patterned <laughs> with the Dutch 88 pattern on there, which you don't see unless upon close inspection. Uh, check out the blog post I wrote on that one below. I have nothing complain to complain about this. Simple, effective. I'll give this also eight stars. The away jersey is a little bit more special and what is it with pink and Scotland? Uh, we see a lot of these as of late and for the women at least it makes sense. I never really liked the pink Scotland away jerseys uh, for the men because I think they have better colors but I think for the ladies I'm totally fine with it. Yes, it re features the weird pattern. Yes, it, maybe the white color with the navy gets almost too colorful, but if you look at the whole ensemble here, that looks nice. It also looked nice when they were, it was worn with um, white shorts against Japan. I thought it looked even better than that one. Um, not crazy about the template. The color is fine, I think, all, all, overall, but you know, it's nothing, it's nothing really special either. I'm between five and six and I'm, you know, Let's give it six stars. Which leads us to the Albi Celeste, who have the same jersey as the men that are wearing now at the Copa America. And I have just recently written a blog post down below on this uh, jersey where I just tell you that it is not one of my favorite Argentina shirts. I totally get that you need to try a little bit to uh, break up the strap pattern. But A, here the blue chosen is too light. Although I have to say when you see it live, the shoulder straps, that one pops. But the other one that is kind of this gradient, you know, it's kind of a sound wave pattern. That one does not pop at all. It actually, if it's worn with white pants, as I've seen it most of the time, it completely vanishes kind of on the TV. It looks like a white jersey. What makes it even worse is then the dark blue accent color on the jersey because regularly it, should be, regularly it should be worn with dark blue pants. WTF. Argentina has black pants. Also, don't give me the crap for inter in interchangeability because as we see the away jersey is the black one from the previous World Cup. So I'm absolutely disappointed in this jersey. Um, if it had a little thinner pattern and it could match up with the blue here on the uh, shoulders, I would actually make it super thin and give it black accents. This would be a decent jersey, but it's just the colors and this uh, sound wave pattern. And then the way it's worn on a kit, I just don't like it. And yeah, I actually would say this is one of the worst, if not the worst Argentina kit, at least of Adidas, because Reebok put out at least one real stinker. So three stars only, cannot go higher than that. The away jersey you see here, the men's version is from all the resources I have, is the men's version at the World Cup, the black one. Um, <laughs> I have not really made a video on it. You can read on my blog post. I also don't like this too much because I really love the navy blue away jerseys um, for Argentina. So when I heard black, I was already disappointed. And then, yes, this was an away jersey. Uh, 
an away jersey with a similar design was worn in the 90s. Um, but it was navy blue and then it had this Argentina flag, similar to the Germany 92 jersey. It's a great, absolutely great jersey. This one doesn't live up to that. I don't like that the three straps going in are broken. It makes the whole Argentina flag look really dirty on that one. Also, you have to squeeze everything together because the pattern, you cannot put it on the sleeves where it actually should go. And then it has to be very steep in there so that the crest can fit in there and doesn't interfere with the pattern. This jersey is a mess, honestly. And that Argentina didn't play all that well with it uh, kind of confirms that. Never really liked that one. I had a few times the chance of actually buying this one and, you know, the freak that I am, I was thinking about it, but in the end, no, this is just not a great jersey. It's not one that I want to really have for that reason only four stars. And for the last team, a little bit surprising, we also go almost the same route as for Argentina. Japan is a force in women's soccer, but they get the same uh, jerseys as the men once again. And you can um, read uh, read on my blog down there what, what I've written. But also for the Asian uh, Cup, I made a review of this jersey, which you can see up here. The women's jersey is basically the same jersey here with two exceptions. A above the crest with the three-legged crow there is and, be and below the flag there is one star because japan won a world cup and i repeat myself i don't get why the flag needs to be up there I really don't it's kind of totally clutters the left side of the jersey and the other thing is that instead of the red color outline we have a pink one which again women uh, is also fitting the jersey has grown on me um, at the world before the world cup i didn't like it as much the more i see it the more i like it and as i said if i could get it for a reasonable price i probably would have gotten it by now but below 50 euros not really possible uh, so i initially rated this with six stars but i stick with the seven stars i gave it for the asian cup and the away jersey, if this is really worn uh, at the World Cup, I hope we'll never see. Um, I really hate this jersey because it's so dull. And you see again the men's version because I didn't find the women's picture of it. This is so dull and so awful uh, and so disappointing. You can, again, watch the video, read my blog post. Um, you use the 92 Adidas equipment pattern uh, over the left shoulder, completely hide it, and then you have just a gray, white, whatever jersey. Most boring thing I've ever seen. I, it's not even, it's just lazy, over designed, and not showing for that reason. Two stars. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys that I've been talking about. As I said, I think England is by far the best in here. Scotland is decent. The other two, um, there's the creativity lacking because they take just the men's jerseys. And yes, the Japan uh, home jerseys are it is all right, but the other three, not that much. But note, this was really the first group where we had a lot of Adidas in there. So that was for sure interesting as well. Anyway, I would like to... Here, read your ratings of these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon with the next review or summary of any of the games at the Women's World Cup or Copa America. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day